Oh man, physical. You know, they had a day off, they're running around, so it's uh it's it's really physical, a lot of competition, ones on ones, you know, ones on two, stuff like that. So uh, sets the tone for the whole week, you know, because uh, everything is about practice. So it's a, it's a physical day. Speaking about being physical, I mean, how big is that going to be for you guys going up against what Michigan has up front? Yeah, I mean, I, the, the, you know, the crazy thing is that that's, that's what we do, period, regardless of opponent. You know, I mean, uh, we, we want to set a standard of how we play, how physical we are, regardless of who, who shows up, right? And, and I think if we hold ourselves to that standard, then it, 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 it'll take care of itself. The game will take care of itself. So right now, we're concentrated on, on us right now. Yep. What's the most important thing or two to stopping the run, being good at stopping the run? I think uh, it takes a concentrated effort. You know, the, the, the one really cool thing about the guys in the locker room uh, is that you see it from all levels. I mean, you saw the hit that Deshaun put on. When he ran down on the on the run, I mean, there was no fear there. You saw they threw a screen out there to a, a really, really talented player, uh, that's number six, and Malcolm saw the ball and he jumped it right now and tackled it for uh, maybe for a tackle for a loss, you know what I mean, or no gain. So it's coming from from all the levels, from from everybody. Which you got to you got to do that, right? You got to you play a great run defense. You got to have everybody buy in, and and the guys have done a nice job. That's something that that comes with the process, right? They gotta be, they gotta feel confident. They gotta feel big and strong. They gotta feel like they know what to do. They gotta feel like they know how to do it. And then you gotta practice those techniques. You know, the dominant contact, the the RDV, and then when they when they get a chance to do it, you know, you praise like that's what it's supposed to feel like. And then when they don't do it right, you correct it. And then the more and more reinforcement they get, that kind of becomes them. So. Um, it's it's something that's continuing to show up. Guys are are playing faster. You know they're understanding their assignments. So they're like the one on Deshaun. If you go back and watch it, he hits it on the fly. He's at about seven, eight, nine yards when he starts to run and starts to see it. You know what I mean? And from the time he saw it, there was zero hesitation because if he had hesitated one bit, that receiver was coming to crack him. He would have got cracked. But but he he just saw the ball and he attacked the ball and he was able to make a play. So. Yeah, like the, the I, I've been, you know, previous experiences been like that before, and then ended up not like that. So everything is about we'll we'll jump around and have parties and stuff at the end of the year when all the games are over. We'll look at all that stuff. But right now, you gotta you gotta have a talented opponent coming in, and 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 the willingness to practice today was was good. The guys want to run around. One clean, but the guys want to run around. They want to be physical. So. That was the most important part. And if we just continue to do that week in and week out, I think after the end of the season, you ask anybody that I think will be doing up here doing cartwheels and somersaults and stuff, as much as we can do, you know what I mean? So. You mentioned Deshaun. Um, what's your evaluation of just him and Omar at first year together working with that safety combination and how, how that's looked so far? Yeah, I mean, they, they made plays, both of them. I mean, both of them have flashed like what they can do. Both of them made plays, both of them. Uh, they'd be the first ones to tell you that there's plays that they left out on the grass, you know. So I think it's the constant uh, uh, quest to to try to perfect the game, you know. what I mean, like by no means are they are they satisfied. Nobody nobody's patting them on the back right now. You know what I mean, like we got we got some really good football teams that we got to play. So, um, but they have done it to where they know what it feels like to make. They know what it feels like to put themselves in positions to make really really spectacular plays. Now, coaches got to keep on. Teaching things the right way, uh, refining things the right way, making sure it's sim simple enough to where those guys can play like that. You know? Corum, just how tough is he? Yeah, he's a good back. Both, I mean, both of them, right? Uh, I mean, they, they they're kind of on the opposite ends of the spectrum. I mean, both of them have really good balance. I mean, Corm, uh, uh, he he's very patient and he he's just one of those you could tell he knows what's happening because he sits back there and he's waiting, he's waiting, and all of a sudden. He he starts to go someplace that you don't you don't see a hole at first and then you blink and then there it is and he and he's shooting out of there you know so he's he's uh, he's an exceptional back but but number seven I mean he's he's a big old back that can that can pound it too you know I was watching the Penn State game from from uh, last year coach said and he I mean I think he had 160 some yards rushing on him you know they had 400 yards rushing last year against him so it's a uh, 
there's some really good backs. You're a West Coast guy for much of your career. I don't know if you ever ran into Harbaugh. What's your impression of him and the offense, the way that they run? Yeah, they, I mean, they're, they're, they're good. I mean, they're an NFL. You know, he's got an NFL approach. He's, he's you know, blue collar, physical, tough. I mean, there's, you see elements in, in, in that in everything, special teams, offense, defense. You see that in the recruiting. You see that everywhere. And so, um, I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a program. You know, it's a winning program. Uh, they they present some challenges. I mean, they they get into different personnels. They shift trade and motion. Their snap counts. They vary their snap counts all the time. You know, they they find every advantage and they use every advantage. You know, which is again again really good really good football to defend. Um, so uh, we're gonna have to be we're gonna have to know what we got to do and don't let all that stuff you know don't let all that window dressing and stuff take us away from our keys and our eyes and, and let us go play play fast and aggressive, you know. When you've been a part of defenses that took a step up in, in getting turnovers, what, what kind of things have you seen that have, have taken them over that hump to be able to do? I think it's just a, a, a confidence deal. And a, like, a, again, you know, I don't know how many times in the, in the game this last one where you're literally like, you're literally like a foot away from, from from the ball being yours, you know, Omar rips the ball out there on the sideline, and it he rips it out just uh, probably a yard too too far, and it goes out of bounds. Right, Phelan, he's running down there, and he just runs on special. He just punches the ball, and the ball rolls out of there. Got some other clips where Ty Robinson is retracing on the quarterback, and the quarterback is falling down, and you see Ty going to punch the ball, and he just falls right there. Otherwise, he's going to get a good shot on the ball. So it's just to the continual buildup of the faith, like, hey, it's go it's going to come. You we got to just keep on working it and working it. And then once it happens, I think guys, once it catches, it's like anything, right? It'll, it'll be, it's like wildfire. Guys start believing, they see it, and then they start doing it more. How do you manage uh, the situation with Luke Reimer this week, and, and how important would it be to have him in a game like this? Oh, one hundred percent. I mean, he's he's one of the better linebackers in the in the Big Ten. You know, so um, I mean, that's just. That's just the docs, how he's feeling, you know, Coach Rule, everybody, the, the whole entire deal, because the last thing you want to do is, is, is not, not uh, uh, care about his safety first, you know. So it is all on what, what he can do, how he's feeling, and, you know, we'll see and go from there. With how multiple you guys are on defense, how important is team chemistry, and how have you seen that growth? Oh, yeah, well, I mean, that's 100%, because, again, you, you're, not, you're not doing the things you're doing unless all 11 plus – the guys going in, so all whatever it is, 36 guys or whatever, they don't have some form of communication. They don't have some form of trust to, with the guy next to them. You know what I mean? So it's, uh, but that started back in. That started back when we got here. All the fall things, all the groups, all of the leadership building, all of the guys dapping each other up. You know the, the the, I think the, what you don't see in Coach Rule is he's always he's always doing things like that. You know what I mean? Like. That's the that's the really cool thing from a coach's perspective is when you're around a guy like that, understanding why. I mean, you see like, hey, how come we'll stop? He's like, hey, I don't get out of get out of the staff meetings. I know everybody wants to watch film right now. Go into the players' lounge and sit with those guys and kind of have conversations with them, talk to them, be around them. You know, pizza and wing night last night, like be around them. You know what I mean? I don't care about the film. Go be around those guys. Little things like that all the time, continuously. And, and again, that just goes back to what you're saying about building that chemistry up so that way it comes out on Saturdays, you know. How different is the defensive line and makeup of it? Uh, how different is that from when you arrived? And what were some of the priorities in that group? Right yeah, you, again, when I arrived, you, you just didn't know, right? You had a, a, a bunch of guys, different body types. You didn't quite know what, what to expect or what they can do and stuff. And uh, again, starting from the off season, Coach uh, Corey and Kristen and getting them all, Mitch and the sports science, all that stuff, getting them ready for the grass. And then uh, T. Knight getting, getting them in. And, and again, Coach Rule over there, you know, he was a D-line coach too, so he's, he's over there giving them uh, tips on pass rush and stance and eyes and all this kind of stuff. T. Knight from his experiences in the NFL, like, I mean, all those things, like the whole community, all those things, you know, setting in. Now you got guys who, you know, some guys are bigger, Powerful pass rush. Some guys are more explosive off the edge. Some guys are really good inside, twisting and turning. Some guys are more stout, going straight ahead. You know, and you got this whole, this whole group of guys that, that have different skill sets. But then when you put them all together, and and they're having fun creating havoc in there. So it's a, uh, it's really cool to see those guys gel. And again, T Knight, everybody uh, uh, doing a nice job. Any update on Cam? 
Yeah, I mean, he was running around out there. I mean, I, uh, I, I thought he was going to be limping around in a jersey, but he was out there running around. Matter of fact, I, I screamed at him unconsciously because he, he went inside. He did some inside. He was supposed to go outside or something like that. I'm like, oh, dang, you're out there? I'm like, cool. Let's go. So. Yeah, I mean, again, he's like Nash, right? He's a guy who had a lot of – he has a lot of ability. He just he just did not have the opportunity or injury, whatever whatever happened, he just didn't put it on the grass, right? So I think a little bit with him was the, the fact that he needed to do it. He knew, he knew he was a good football player. He knew he was big, strong, fast, right? But then when he does it on the grass, then it's like, okay, okay, I can do it. And then now you're just seeing him continuously grow with the more reps and the more stuff he's able to put on film. So happy for, happy for Blaze. Thank you, everybody.